guys it's the harkin situation here and i have a video for everybody who is not really familiar with the software of shadow play and the geforce experience or who have just got a new graphics card and want to start recording their uh gameplays and stuff like that with uh shadow play so just to, before i like, get you guys started on this i want to let you know that the file sizes are, are going to be large when you're using this type of software so making sure that you have a large enough uh, hard drive to store all of your gameplay and everything and make it a folder for it um is always is, is necessary for using a software like this so first thing you guys want to do is click the link in the description and you're going to click on geforce.com and you're gonna come to this page such as right here just like me so it's gonna say download now and you want to download it but I've already had it downloaded so you guys just go through the um, installing process and all that and and you know how to do that if you, it, it's it's pretty simple all you're gonna do is just install it like any other okay. kind of program so after you have installed it um, it's probably gonna be on your desktop so you want to double click on it but mine's not on my desktop so I'm just gonna look it up G4 it's gonna be called GeForce experience all right so you want to open this up and one of the first things you guys are going to do is you're going to want to download all the drivers that come out and I should download this one but I'll do it after this video but you want to download new drivers if not already installed one downloading the PC and you also want to optimize all of your games so right here is this game optimization um, you want to go see your system requirements it's going to it's going to show your requirements and um, it's most likely going to ask you to um, optimize all your games so after that, all your games should be optimized, pretty much letting it like running the best with, um, uh, it's running the best that it can using GeForce um, software. So now you guys are on to the point like, so how do I record my gameplay? So you need your games to be optimized in order to rec record your games. So optimization is key. Now what you're going to want to do, the confusing part here is um, you want to go over to alt plus c see this right here now you can you can either do alt plus c it's gonna open up like uh like this or you could just go to the settings over here under general so now you're gonna have all these things and right here you can go um set where you want your recording to go and all that stuff uh right here you connect it to like if you want to stream on youtube or twitch any of that um, overlays. Uh, you could add your F F or FPS counter. Uh, I know I don't really like keep that because it shows up in the recordings. I just keep the camera there, and there's always a green button, but doesn't show up in the recordings. And you can um, wherever you want that to be. You just uh, it's st under staff under indicator. Anywhere you want it to be, you can select it. It doesn't show up in your recordings, but it'll just be showing when you're recording. So that's how you know you're recording. So also, you guys want to set up. Um, your keyboard shortcuts, like what you want to start to capture, what you want to stop the capture. Uh, I change those around because I don't necessarily use this. And then the gallery is stuff you use to make screenshots. Like, I'm pretty sure it's F10. So then you can just configure all your settings and you should be good. Now, uh, microphone. You want to customize this if you want. Um, you got to customize it to the mic that you're using. Um, I use my Blue Yeti. And your volume percent, I like to go around 30%. It's not too loud, not too soft, but you can go anywhere between 30 and 40. I just stay at a safe uh, 30% and save that while you're at it. Uh, camera, if you want to add it, you can you can add it, but there's no need for that normally, unless you're unless you're planning to use it. All right, instant replay. So what this is is it can go 10 minutes back or however long back you can set it, and it will go. As far back as you want as long I think it, actually I think this is the alt F10 uh, so you press that down it'll go back to save everything and you can change the resolution and all of that and that that's really important if you missed something you weren't recording you can um, go back and get it now here we go for the main part recording now you can uh, change your megabits per second your bit rate this is based off of your internet speed uh, I keep it a safe 30 as well. I mean, that's just how I do it. You can customize your um, your resolution. So you could have it just as set 1080 or based on the in-game resolution. So if you set it to like 2K, it's going to record 2K. But um, for most people, you're going to be recording in 1080. So you want to select 1080. But if not, just keep it on in-game. Uh, again, with the FPS, you can set it with whatever you want. That's all for you to do. And this is this right here is just for broadcasting and oh, it's all plus F1 to save screenshot my apologies So and this is the gallery where you're gonna see all the things that you've recorded 
And yeah, um, this is just a little tutorial on how to record with Shadowplay. Now, if there's any questions down below, let me know. Uh, I was showing you guys how to set everything up. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.